Hi, welcome to RealTomEarths.com. Today we are going to talk about the new disaster film, Into the Storm. Now, this is a movie about tornadoes that touch down in a small American town, and if that sounds at all familiar, you're probably thinking of the 1996 movie, Twister, which starred Helen Hunt, and in a very small but significant role, the late Philip Seymour Hoffman. Now this movie doesn't really have any big stars unless you count that woman from the TV series The Walking Dead. She plays a very sensible meteorologist and you have to have a sensible meteorologist. Now I'm glad to say that I liked Into the Storm a little bit better than Twister. The action and the special effects in Into the Storm are really worth seeing and they're exceptional. But I have to think about the way we make disaster films now. We don't make them like we did in the 70s. Do you remember movies like The Poseidon Adventure, Towering Inferno, Earthquake, Airport? Now these movies all began with the poster. What you have is in front of the action, everything that's going to happen, and in a row along the bottom, you have snapshots of all the characters. You don't know which one of these people are going to survive whatever trauma the movie decides to put them through. The one problem I did have with the film is Stephen Quayle, the director of this film, and this is really his first big budget film, although I do credit him for bringing back the Final Destination series with Final Destination 5. In this movie, he gives every character in the film a camera so you can have that sense of immediacy, that sense of authenticity. Whether he's giving the camera to a high school student who's catching his graduation, or he's giving the camera to a couple of local hits who want to get on YouTube, or if it is the camera run by a crew of television program makers who are obviously shooting a series for the Discovery Channel. But thankfully, Quill also keeps the camera through his eyes, and we get some authentic filmmaking here. And those scenes are pretty spectacular. Overall, Into the Storm is an okay movie as long as the storm is blazing. But when there is no storm, then you might as well go get some popcorn.